yali madad sir yali madad apa yali madad friends yali madad yali madad yani yali madad yali madad yali madad welcome all friends to sunday morning class we will start with the name of mola no mola na shah karim al saini haji ma ya mola help us give us tawfiq taid himmat and yari mola papa eji aisa main janati to chalane na deti piya aisa So let us start with our Sunday morning session of Dua meaning. In last class we had covered part two. I'll summarize briefly what we had done. We discussed this first verse in second part beginning. Ya ayuhal lazina amanu ati ullaha wa ati urasul wa ulil amra minko. This is from chapter 5 verse 59. The translation is O oh, who you believe obey Allah obey Rasul and obey those among us you with the amr. So in other words if you if someone does not accept the one who has the amr which is the imam he has not obeyed the Rasul or even Allah. How we know? How do we know this? And we have given the reference of another verse, chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-four, which says, "And we made among, and we made from among them, imams guiding by our command." So it is the imam who has the amr and who are guiding us with the command of Allah. So, not accepting the Imam is just like not accepting Allah. <coughs> and then the second part of the in the second part of the word, the second verse which is taken from the Quran is thirty-six by twelve. The part of thirty-six by twelve which says, "Wa kull shayin ahsayna hufi Imam in Mubi." And we have encompassed everything in manifest Imam, meaning Imam has the everything encompassed within him. And this encompassing is just like the way when Adam was taught all the names of everything. Why? As he had the same soul as Imam. He had the amr of Allah. He was chosen as Khalifa, taken from chapter two, verse thirty. He was given authority by the command of Allah, just like Imam. Therefore, we can say that everything is encompassed in Imam, 
as it was also the authority given to Adam at that time. <coughs> now this concept, this verses when we talk about it is only for those clearly says Ya ayyuhallazina amanu O you who believe These concepts are difficult but it is only for those who are believers will accept this. Then in second part we raise our hands to pray and we say Allahumma ya maulana anta salam wa minka salam wa ilayka ya jiu salam ayyana rabna bis salam wa khilna taras salam tabarak tarabna wa khalai diya sal jalali wa likra So we are praying we are praying to Mala Baba for Salamati and we are saying you are the Salamati. Salamati returns to you. Admit us in the house of Salamati. Now Imam himself is the Salamati. He is the ever living Salamati. We pray for same Salamati for ourselves. Imam who is Nurun Allah Nur is always Salamat and present in this world. When we seek Salamati, we are saying Hayana Rabbana, meaning the one who is living. The one who is living and this word Hayana comes from Al-Hay, chapter 2, verse 225, Ayatul Kursi, in which the Isma Azam of Al-Hay is mentioned. Now, when we say al the one who is alive and the one who can bring us to life, we are seeking that life, that Salamati. And why are we seeking that? Not only that it is mentioned in Quran, but Quran says in chapter 25, verse 58, that rely upon the ever-living who does not die. So we are following the command of Allah given in the Quran to seek that ever living life and ever living is Imam in this world with the principle of Nurun Allah Nur. So we seek that Salamati from Mawla saying that Hayyana Rabbana Bis Salam. It is only those who are living will enter the house of Salamati. Dead will not be able to enter. So here the, when we talk of dead it's not after the passing away from this world. It is when we are living in this world, being coming to life spiritually and intellectually and entering in the house of Salamati. So we do hear this dua that Mola asal me vasal this ruhan, meaning that enter them in the in, enter them in the house of Salamati. We are hoping and praying. But the emphasis in this part, the prayers, the true meaning of the second part when we are raising our hands and praying, we are seeking this Salamati during our by our own self, not depending on the prayers when we die. Because true Salamati is during the lifetime. After that, everyone will be one with Mola. But the true happiness lies when we are living and we enter into the house of Salamati, then we can experience all the miracles of Salamati. And the reason, the purpose we are all trying to learn this true translation, the understanding of it because Imam has emphasized that to us. When we are learning the parts of Quran through our dua, we need to understand the meaning. Malana Hazima made this Farman in, on November 22nd, 1967. Mala said, it is important that if you recite or know parts of the Quran, you shouldn't be able to explain their meaning. Do not forget that our branch of Islam is an esoteric branch of Islam. Esoteric, esoteric means that what is written is there, but its meaning is not there to everyone. It is there only to those who are part of our Jama. And it is important. Therefore, that if you learn parts of the Quran, you should be able to explain the esoteric meaning of those parts. It is important that in learning parts of the Quran, you must clearly understand the meaning. 
how clear it is that mala wants us to understand the meaning and it is so amazing just from the concept of salamati it resolves so much of misunderstanding or i would say ill concepts that you wait to be one with imam and you depend on others prayers to be asal mein wasal but in reality the meaning teaches us that we can wasal ourselves during our lifetime we do not need to depend or wait for others to pray for us and then this part tabarak tarabna wa ta'alayta ya zal jalali wal ikram this is so powerful and so amazing the translation says you are the pure our rub the most high lord of majesty and generosity lord of glory and honor you know this is so beautiful words when i was teaching children i would always say imagine the court of a king and you know when he enters everybody would say announcement would happen that this king is entering everybody should stand up imagine that that scene and think of this prayer which we are praying three times a day from ala baba and we are saying you are the pure o oh, our lord our sustainer the most high lord of majesty and generosity lord of glory and honor so what a beautiful praise are these prayers it is so amazing when you pray with understanding and true realization of the power of the miracles of imam then only you can seek that miracle for yourself alhamdulillah we are very blessed to understand the concept of salamati the concept of concept of becoming alive during our lifetime <coughs> so we will move further now subhanallah subhanallah bahut nawazish this was a great way of revising what we had learned earlier and the farman which she recited of 1967 of molana hazri mam clearly clearly tells us that it is the meaning of the dua meaning of the ayat that we must understand the deeper meaning which is for the jamaat only sometime with our misunderstanding i would say i would not say is intentional just misunderstanding because we were taught the translation of the dua then that is good enough for us if you know the translation then that is good enough for us yeah maybe when we were children as the knowledge is step by step on the first step since our language was not arabic we had to know the translation either in our urdu language gujarati language or english whichever language we understood but that was just a first step it was never meant to be the final step so imam emphasized on the meaning of the dua the understanding of the dua the deeper concept which an ayat which our dua should present to us as we are reciting you know sometimes we say we have a hard time focusing on dua maybe it is one of the reason that we don't understand what we are saying but if once we know the meaning the deeper tawil and understanding of our dua then you will come to appreciate how beautiful meaningful 
and how you have a conversation directly with the Imam during the Dua because in your back of your mind when you are talking to Imam is no longer a one-way conversation but you are having a conversation with the Imam and now with that imagination with that understanding a concept a picture will come in your mind that how and what you are saying to the Imam can you imagine we are talking to someone and we have no idea what we are saying how foolish that would look and you will never know that what you are saying and what Imam is saying back to you because you don't understand the language or in other words you don't understand what conversation is taking place that reminds me of the Farman which Niyama Sahiba read last week of Imam Aka Sultan Muhammad Shah not soul be sacrificed to their Imam back in 1908 now we are talking about over 100 years old Mola says you must recite your prayers by understanding is its deeper mysteries you see Imam did not use the word translation and not only understanding but understanding is deeper mysteries the only way to capture the mystery of prayer is to understand each and every word that is recited each and every word we cannot just pray or recite our dua superficially in the very last line in this Farman Mullah says the way to God is based on its meaning and then of course Imam our present Jama also emphasized on that and that is the prefix for this sessions that we have on the meaning of the dua so let's move forward but if you give me permission I would like to go back to the very last line of what we were reading uh, last session which she just mentioned which is Tabarakta Rabna I wanted to take this one or two words of this uh, line if Al-Hay meaning that he is alive and he can give you that life because he is alive he can give you that life kar sakta hai. having their understanding Remember Mola just said, knowing the each word, the deeper meaning. Tabarakta. The word Tabarakta. If Imam is that Barkat, the purification, the purest, in the purest form, there is a ayah Tathir in Quran. It's Surah 33 and happened to be Ayat number 33 also. It's called Ayat Tathir. Where Allah talks about the Panchtane Park, the family of the Prophet. An Imam being the Ali Nabi Aulad Ali, the family of the Prophet, the Panchtane Park, Allah said, I have purified them in the way that I have never purified anyone else Asan Zaban mein ke unko itna paak kya ke jaisa pehle kisi ko paak nahi kya hai they are the most purified and if we are the spiritual children of the Imam Zaman 
then Imam can purify us as he is purified. And there are two ways we can think of this one which is Dua Ashish which is Khana Vadan which is blessing he can purify us. Or by becoming one with him since he is the ocean of the Noor the purified Noor then we also in this ocean of the Noor can become purified as no one can purify us because he is the park and purified the most pure Tabarak then he can do same for his spiritual children so I thought while she was talking about this it was most interesting that how something that can present a concept a single word a single word can present a concept to us so when we are reciting the dua and when we get to this part we can imagine how in the place of Salamati in the place of the Noor in the living paradise of the Imam who is the most purest with him we can also become purest and we do not have to die physically to become one with him that is the prayer in this that O oh Allah make me alive and enter me into your asal me wasil while I am living so let's move forward to our uh, next uh, section section of the dua which is start with uh, Allahumma G Bismillah so we say in dua Allahumma Ya Maulana Minka Madadi Wa Ilayka Mu'atumati Iyya Kana Abadu Wa Iyya Kana Stain Ya Ali Yubilud Fika Dirikni La Ilaha Illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Aliyun Amirul Mu'minin Aliyullah Maulana Shah Karim Husaini Al Imam Al Imam Al Hazr Al Mu'ajud Allahumma laka sujudi wa tuati. The translation is Ya Allah, O oh my Mola and Master, from you are my help. And on you I trust and depend on you. It is you we worship. And you we ask for help, O oh Ali. Come to our help with your pleasure and happiness. There is no Allah but you. Muhammad is your Rasul. Ali Amirul Mu'mineen is from you with your command. Maulana Shah Karim al is living and present Imam. O oh Allah, to you is my prostration and obedience. SubhanAllah. Thank you. Allahumma ya Molana minka madadi In the simple translation we just heard that is talking about Ya Allah O my Mola the Master But in our tariqa in our deeper understanding we understand that Imam is our Mola and Imam is our Master and it is Him that we refer to in all matter in all matter 
as it says over here oh my allah oh my mola from you is my help urdu mein iska jo translation banta hai wo bahut acha banta hai ki ya mola tujhse meri madad hoti rehti hai it's a continuous tense that imam as our master without even asking without even asking he is helping us in a continuous way constantly as a mother and father of our soul and intellect he continues to help us constantly without asking yahan par jo concept diya ja raha hai jo ishara kiya ja raha hai is that his help is constant and continues the example of that is of a sun every morning when sun comes up you want it or you don't want it the sun gives you light and the heat equally to humans to animals to pathway or a farm regardless of the place regardless of you willing or wanted it gives you light that is the example of the imam with his mercy he continues to give us the light and the heat yani ki uski jo rehmat hai uski jo mohabbat hai wo hum par barasti rehti hai wo constant hai hamare maangne ya hamare chaane ke upar uska daromadar nahi hai yeah if we close our eyes and say it's dark outside there is no sun there is no light and we sit in air condition and say there is no heat then there is different so if we close our eyes and our hearts to the rahmat and the help of the imam then there is our choice but from him uski taraf se koi bhi kami nahi hai from him this help is constant and little bit further down we will see that there is another kind of help that we do ask and we will see that in a minute so remember here in this first line this help is constant asking or not asking willing or unwillingly this help imam gives as he has promised that he will nourish you wo hamare maa baap ki tarah hai another example i like to give for our understanding as a child when the child is born the mother knows exactly when this child needs help nourish cleaning वो माँ उसको दूध पिलाती रहती है उसको क्लीन करती रहती है उसकी मालिश करती रहती है उसको नरिश करती रहती है विदाउट द चाइल्ड एस्किंग दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस लाइन वले का मौत मदी ऑन यू आई ट्रस्ट एंड डिपेंड ऑन यू एज अ चाइल्ड our in trust and we only and only depend 
on the imam zaman we are as an smiley who has taken the bayat of the imam by saying this we are saying two things one ya mola as in our bayat and bayat you know is a two way contract and what is that contract that we will follow you and you will guide us bayat is not a one way contract is a two way contract जब हम इमाम की बैत करते हैं तो उसके अंदर दो तस्वर है पहला कंडीशन है कि वी विल फॉलो यू दूसरा ही विल गाइड अस दैट इज द बैत दैट इज द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड वी ट्रस्ट हिम वी ट्रस्ट हिम इन ऑल मैटर्स we follow him in all matters when we say all matters meaning the physical the spiritual and intellectual matters chahe wo din ka ho chahe wo duniya ka ho in all matters we trust him and we look to him for the guidance in the next one explains this line further ya kana badu yahan par jo ye bande ka word hai ki main teri ibadat karta hu ya main teri itihad karta hu ya main teri gulami karta hu ya main tera farman manne ka ya main tere taraf farman ke liye needy hu यहाँ पर जो हमारी रूह सिफली है और अकल गरीजी है रूह सिफली द लोअर आई रूह अकल गरीजी द नीडी इंटेलेक्ट वी आर सेइंग दैट वी वॉशिप यू मीनिंग वी फॉलो यू वी ट्रस्ट यू एंड वी फॉलो यू because we like to take our lower soul into your higher soul we like to take our akle garizi the needy intellect into your akle kulli into the complete intellect so we need his intellect his farman his guidance and we are those who will follow you we need you we depend on you and we trust you so if you take both of this together wa ya kana badu wa ya kana sahin then we will see that here comes another one now this time unlike the very first one allahumma ya maulana minka madadi here we are saying that we seek your help wa ya kana sahin so if allah is automatically giving us the help then which help are we seeking now i thought it was by default automatically uski madad humko milti rehti hai जब उसकी मदद हमको मिलती रहती है तो यहां पर कौन सी मदद हम मांग रहे हैं या कना सैन एंड यू वी एस फॉर हेल्प यहां पर हमें तुम्हारी मदद की जरूरत है सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंपेयर टू दी वेरी फर्स्ट लाइन कि जहां पर मदद डायरेक्टली मिल रही थी when it comes to physical being and physical body and physical need sometime we need imam's help and then we become self sufficient 
in the physical matters we become self sufficient and on top of that because we trust and believe that imam will continue to help us then we don't ask for our physical needs but we continue to ask for what other needs we still need the help with our soul abhi bhi hame hamari ruh ki madad ki zarurat hai abhi bhi hame apne aqal ki tarakki ke liye madad ki zarurat hai the two words that i had used earlier ki hamari ruh ki tarakki ke liye jo niche hai usko upar le jana hai we still need the help with our soul which is on the bottom and we like to take that all the way to the top in the noor in the soul in the single soul of the imam e zaman so here we are asking for a different kind of help i want to repeat this i don't want anybody to be confused i'm don't i'm not saying that we do not need imam self with our physical life but he has already taken care of us by default by his rahmat by his mercy aur usne hamari physical life ke andar bahut sara humko de diya hai and we have become self sufficient into that matter but when it comes to the spiritual enlightenment and the spiritual elevation we are still poor and we are still like a children so we ask for his help we ask for his help i hope this makes it clear ki yahan par do jagah par jo madad ki baat aayi hai in one place the help and the rahmat is by default automatically and at the second place we are asking for something more than what he has been giving to us what has been given to us because when it comes to the baitul khayal and spiritual enlightenment and elevation imam leaves that to us when and if when and if we are ready to elevate our soul and enlight our batin then we go to the imam and seek his help to yahan par jo madad hai wo spiritual batini madad mang rahe hain do we see how comprehensive and detailed and meaningful our dua and prayers are there is no word which is not there for a purpose imam ne ye jo dua hamare liye approve ki hai uske andar bahut zyada hikmat a lot of wisdom has been hidden into this let's come to the next line ya ali bilut tafrika adrikani ya ali बिलुफ्त इस वर्ड को ले आप बिलुफ्त अफ्रीका अदरिकनी या मोला अपने लुफ्त व करम से लुफ्त व करम विद द प्लेजर विद द हैप्पीनेस प्लीज कम एंड हेल्प अस नाउ यहां पर द वर्ड सिंस वी ऑलरेडी हैव talked about the help the word i wanted to emphasize is bilus tafrika luft o karam se with the pleasure and the mercy and the happiness what we are saying here is so beautiful that imam i know i am a child and sometime my action 
and my asking is childish main manta hu ki main bachcha hu aur kabhi kabhar mera jo mangna hai wo bachchon ka hai bachchon ki tarah hai but please please when i ask you for something doesn't matter how childish that is please come and help me with your utmost happiness with your utmost mercy with the pleasure apni khushi khushi se meri madad ko aana i wanted to say this thing i'm sorry someone can look up this reference at one time someone came to mola ali and he asked for something mola ali turned his face away from that guy but then he took his hand and gave it to him from the back ek martaba jab mola ali ke paas koi shakhs aaya aur usne kuch manga mola ali ne apna chehra usse guma liya और हाथ को पीछे करके उसको दे दिया जो वो मांग रहा था दावील ऑफ देर इज वेन सम वन केम टू मोला अली वी गो टू दी अली इज अमान एंड इफ वी एस्क फॉर दी वर्ल्डली थिंग्स ओनली सिर्फ दुनिया को मांगते हैं सिर्फ दुनिया को मांगते हैं रूहानियत को नहीं सिर्फ दुनिया को तो अली का ये कानून है कि चूंकि वो रहमान और रहीम है ही स्टिल गिव्स टू अस द वर्ल्ड इफ यू ओनली एस्किंग फॉर वर्ल्ड बट ही टर्न्स इज दीदार अवे फ्रॉम अस ही फेस अवे फ्रॉम अस और उल्टा हाथ करके हमको दे देता है इंस्टेड इफ यू आर एस्किंग him for our spiritual enlightenment spiritual elevation to wo khushi khushi se humko deta hai do we see the different between asking for worldly things and asking for spiritual thing when we ask for spiritual things spiritual enlightenment he happily and with a pleasure gives to us वो खुशी खुशी हमको देता है आई रिमेंबर वन ऑफ द फरमान और तालिका मुबारक ऑफ 13 दिसंबर 2008। और आप देखें कि वॉट आर जस्ट सेन देर ही हैप्पीली एंड विलिंगली विद द प्लेजर इज हेयर टू हेल्प अस इज द फोर फाइव लाइन फरमान फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू रीड दिस लास्ट लाइन very mom says i have had nothing else of real significance in my life other than serving the jamaat mola farmate hain mere paas aur kuch karne ka nahi hai koi khaas cheez karne ki nahi hai mere paas kya karne ka hai mere ko jamaat ko serve karna do you see the word the humbleness Imam saying, "I have nothing else of real significance in my life other than serving the Jamaat." Take the example of a mother. Imam is our spiritual father and the mother. Look at the love of this mother, the spiritual mother. एक माँ कितनी भी busy हो, doesn't matter how busy a mother is. when child cries when child calls on the mother she leaves everything and pay her entire attention the whole attention to the need of the child that is exactly what imam is saying here not that mola is not busy and he doesn't have anything else to do but what is saying but if you call me then i will leave everything and i will come and see 
what you need. I will fulfill fulfill your need. Ab, you take the event of Ali, and if you take the event of the other Imam, if agar jab ham kya mangte hain, aur jab ham din mangte hain, ruhaniyat mangte hain, to mola apne pichle jaame mein farmate hain ki main bhot taklif lekar tumhari रू की निजात के लिए इस दुनिया में आया हूं इन दिस प्रीवियस जमा मोला से आई हैव टेकन ट्रबल एंड कम टू दिस वर्ल्ड टू एलिवेट योर सोल आपने देखा यहां पर जो ये बात हो रही है कि या अली बिलू तफरीका अदरक कनी लुफ्त तो करम से खुशी खुशी से और जब हम उससे अपनी रूहानियत मांगते हैं तो वो खुशी खुशी से हमारी मदद को आता है अब हमको ये बात समझ में आ गई और अच्छी तरह से हमने इसको समझ लिया और सीख लिया कि पहली लाइन के अंदर जो था वो बाय डिफॉल्ट उसकी हेल्प थी हमारे लिए और फिर फोर्थ लाइन के अंदर जब हम इसकी मदद मांगते हैं वो या कनस सहीन या अली बुलू तफरीका अदरक कनी तो वो खुशी खुशी से हमारी मदद को आता है ला इलाहा इल्लाह हो देर इज नो अल्लाह बट You, without me saying anything, if you are the true moment, you will understand the meaning of this. And when we say this, when we say this in our du'a, we must mean it. उसके ऊपर जोर लगाना है. ये कहते हुए अपने ख्याल को इमाम की तरफ करने हैं क्या कहते हैं लिसन टू दिस केयरफुली ला इलाहा इल्ल लाहू देर इज नो अल्लाह बट यू किससे हम खिताब कर रहे हैं हु आर वी टॉकिंग टू दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन वॉज बिटवीन यू एंड इमाम एंड देन यू आर सेइंग There is no Allah but you, Muhammad Rasulullah, and Muhammad is your Rasul. Muhammad is your Prophet. Aliyun, Amirun, Mu'minin, Aliullah, He. हमारी पुरानी दुआ के अंदर यहाँ पर जो Aliullah है वो अली अल्लाह होता था कि अमीरुल मोमिन यहां पर जो मीनिंग बदल जाती है दर्ड्स बिकॉज द वर्ड चेंज द मीनिंग चेंज एंड द अमीरुल मोमिन इज फ्रॉम अल्लाह और इज अमीरुल मोमिन इज अली अल्लाह दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू and your belief i cannot say no one can say how you believe it is between you your iman and your imam how you take this i am just telling you from the history and from the past uh, dua our old dua this used to be ali allah मौलाना शाह करीम अल हुसैनी अल इमाम हाजरल मौजूद हेयर कम्स द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इस्माइली तरीका नो वन कैन से आई एम इस्माइली अनलेस इट बिलीव इन प्रेजेंट एंड लिविंग इमाम कोई ये नहीं कह सकता है कि मैंने पांच दस पंद्रह बारह इमाम को माना है तो मैं इस्माइली हूं नो वन कैन से दैट Every smiley principle of the smiley tariqa is that Imam is always living and present. 
so we are saying ya mola shah karim al husaini hazir imam is our living and present imam here when we say that this is a renewal of our bayat also because part of the bayat was i will always always will follow the living imam allahumma laka sujudi wa taati o allah to you is my prostration and obedience aur jab hum sajde mein jaye so we should have a complete and total conviction that all our prostration and all our obedience is the heart ali allah ke liye hai imam ke liye hai jo hamara hazir aur maujood imam hai so let me stop here inshallah uh, if there are anything else please go ahead yeah i like to just build on what as this has been sharing um the way when we say that when we pray to mola baba we have to keep in mind that we are praying for our soul does not mean that we are not asking for our physical needs too and he's so merciful that he does fulfill our physical prayers too but he says in his farman on july 13th 1899 he says it very clearly mola says hum duniya ke doctor nahi hai लेकिन दिल के डॉक्टर हैं। अगर तुम्हें दिल की दवा चाहिए तो वो हमारे पास है किसी का दिल खराब हो और इसकी दवा चाहिए तो वो हमारे पास है तुम पानी से जिसम धोगे तो उससे क्या फायदा कुछ फायदा नहीं लेकिन अगर अंदर से धोगे तो फायदा देखने में आएगा खाना बनाना meaning that he has said in other farmans that when you cry in this world because of the worldly loss or worldly problems it's not worth it in other words mola is saying that dukh jo karna hai wo aakibat ka karna hai aakhirat ka karna hai when you shed tears when you pray seek prayers for your aakhirat because that matters that's permanent physical life is mot it's going to go away it's temporary so this beautiful verses today actually we are covering it relates to doing giriya azari too there's a beautiful verse in uh, ginan verse when we say eti as tamari shri ho kaim asami saheb chinta kije yasha When we are seeking prayers, when we are supplicating to Mala Baba in these words in our dua, we are seeking His help and mercy to help our soul because we have come to this world to recognize Him, to uplift our soul. So, in our prayers, if we are not clear of our baya, that our baya to Imam is actually to get His help to recognize the true reality of us. so if we don't have that understanding back of our mind when we are saying this dua in arabic probably remembering the translation but the true essence is actually getting to his recognition so our ash our dua our trust is actually based on that premise that we need his help we seek his help to get to the recognition In Quran uh, chapter 2 verse 152 says that so remember me i will remember you in order for us to get to Allah's help we need to remember him if we don't remember him we will not get his help simple as that he says it this is a law if you remember me i will remember you now if we are remembering only to seek his physical help we will get his help is mola is rahman is merciful he will turn his back and give it to us what we are asking for but we will never get to him who is our purpose of our life the way he just referred to this story that mola ali gave the beggar whoever who he was asking whatever he was asking but turn his back do we want our mola to turn his back 
So when we are saying our dua, we need to remember why and what are we saying to one another. So in Quran, supplication actually is tazarru, meaning that when we ask Mala Baba, we ask for, ask for it with utmost humility. Kiryawzari can be collective and can be individual. And dua is a, it's a asmani rahmat, heaven of mercy. And in this verse, this specific verse, we are only asking for prayers. We are asking for Dua from Allah Baba. Dua are priceless. It's unmoral. It's precious. It appears common because we do it every day. So we probably do not value it as much as we should be. The value, the worth only comes when we understand the meaning of it. When we understand the meaning of it. So no matter how many words we use, as I have said beautifully, no matter how many words we use, if we don't understand the true meaning of it, it will not benefit us. Dua is beyond praise and description. It is a treatment of thousands and thousands of spiritual diseases. There are diseases in our heart, as Mawlapa says, Adar tum dil ki dua, dil ki dawai maangte ho, then I can give it to you. Meaning that the diseases in our heart, which are spiritual, which is keeping us distant from Allah Baba, we are seeking prayers for that purpose only. That should be the main purpose. So when we do dua with Kiriya Azari, it is a miraculous medicine. There are majizat in it. And, and that's the true bayat we have from our Imam. So this verse is, it's so beautiful. Ya Ali, bilut pika adrikni. That apni lut for inayat se meri madad ko much. With your pleasure and happiness, please help us. So I don't think we can use enough words to explain the meaning of it. Interestingly, I see a question here. I'm going to read it as I said. It says regarding Ya Ali, bilut pika adrikni. Since lut is related to Latifa, meaning Satan. Can the line from Dua also mean that we are seeking Imam's help in a hidden way? In the same sense that Imam is with us, close to us, in subtle way. I would say the answer is there too. Uh, gee, this is more like a comment. Uh, yeah. What I like to add to this question or to understanding, there in Arabic and as it is in Urdu, there are some words that would have dual meaning. And just like this Latif or the astral, also not only meaning the Batin, but also mean the way to help that no one can see it. That's why this help is of the spiritual help and when uh, Imam Zaman helps us spiritually it makes him happy that we are asking for something for our soul and not for our temporary world and same time, it gives us that happiness. He relay that happiness to us because we had asked for something of him, which his entire life he has given for that single purpose to elevate our soul. So sometimes I would ask that we, like you just said a few minutes ago not to get stuck on a word but the deeper meaning of it thank you subhanallah subhanallah beautiful uh, question in a way it was so beautiful that we touched upon this uh, understanding the deeper meaning that the true seeking is to become subtle to become one with imam and in relationship to that same uh, context there is another question which we have received and it says 
are you saying the prayer we normally do at the end time like mayat time somebody has died we can do that in our lifetime as well i think i have talked about it but go ahead you talk ji i think you have beautifully answered that already so just because uh, whoever is asking this that yes we do not wait for others to pray for us but we should fulfill all the needs of our soul and one of the need of our soul is to be one with the imam and when we say that i wanted to be one with you mola and i believe lot of smiley says that that mujhe fana fi imam hona hai lekin they don't know what that means or how to this is exactly what we are asking in our dua in the part of salamati that give me that life so i may become one with you aisa nahi bolta hai baad mein mere ko dena hai it doesn't say give me a life afterward no give me a life now we are asking three times a day every day the give me a life in my life today before i die so i may become one with you fanafi imam i think this is sufficient because you have already answered that otherwise ji i just would like to share another verse in quran chapter 2 verse 186 it's beautifully says indeed i am near i respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me so only the prayers which we do with supplication with kriya wazari with humility mola gives it to us now the reason we are trying to understand the deeper meaning of dua so we know actually what we are asking for alhamdulillah i don't see any more question you gone over time today ji subhanallah shukran lillah alhamdulillah thank you again for your help and those young men online who are sharing the references in real time in the group thank you very much tamam sathiyo ko yali madad thank you yali madad yali madad thank you